So I'd like to thank you very much for having me as part of the 8th Annual uh, Vicara Conference. Uh, my name is Kevin Feenan, and I'm the president and founder of Rock Consortium. Um, what I'm doing here is going to be a rapid fire, 10 slides in 10 minutes presentation on Rockcliffe University Consortium and what's coming up next for Rockcliffe. So Rockcliffe started in 2006 as an experiment in educational methods using Second Life as a virtual platform. Uh, initially, it was a little bit of a tongue in cheek joke, um, but Rockcliffe very quickly found itself amid the educational movement at that time that was sweeping through Second Life. Uh, we incorporated as a nonprofit in 2008 with a mandate to serve uh, the community, providing a safe place for others to experiment with virtual collaboration methods. Uh, Rockcliffe is not backed by any university, college, government, or other organization. Uh, it's essentially you know, being paid for by me at this particular point in time. Um, everything that Rockcliffe has been, um, everything in Rockcliffe has been developed by a group of volunteers dedicated to the ideals of providing service and supporting open access. Uh, to educational resources, uh, both for and to the community. Uh, we're very much a service organization. Uh, Rockcliffe's uh, four principal service areas include service to the community, uh, education in knowledge emergence and collaborative techniques, uh, research into technology innovation, uh, the use of technology both in education and collaborative settings, and access uh, to and grow individuals and communities will be the most impacted over the coming decades. As part of this mandate, Rockcliffe offers several complementary services to our members that we expect will become more important in the years to come. There's already a huge demand for a firm understanding of exactly how technology can best be used with everyday society in the classroom and in business. Rock, Rockcliffe professional certification, uh, sorry, Rockcliffe's professional certification program is a first step in developing common standards and best practices that will allow for both individuals and organizations to have a better understanding of the implications and prerequisite understanding required for ongoing innovation and development. Another way Rockcliffe is helping uh, professionals understand the use of this technology is through our professional conferences. Uh, most people here are probably more than aware of the Virtual World's Best Practice in Education Conference. Uh, this conference has now been running for a good 10 years, uh, and it's one of the largest online conferences on education and virtual environments anywhere. Right. Um, we're now introducing our next step, uh, the uh, Iridition Conference, beginning this October. Uh, this is going to be a first for Rockcliffe, as this uh, really will be the first time that we've done a live meetup event. Uh, it's going to be in Old Sacramento, and we'll have a high focus on networking and interactivity. Um, we've got a little bit of information out right at the moment, but registration for the conference will be going out in early May. Uh, you'll be able to find out more information by subscribing to our newsletter, becoming a Rockcliffe social member, or checking on our Facebook page, or periodically checking our uh, RUC Today website. Uh, the link is in the local chat here for anybody that, uh, that wants the link. Um, we're also, as Rockcliffe, we're also proud to be host to one of the largest virtual library, virtual research libraries anywhere in the world. Uh, we have two library campuses, uh, one which is here in Second Life that you can visit just by looking for Rockcliffe Library on the map. Uh, the ro um, sorry, <laughs> Rockcliffe has a, um, my apologies, my brain's gotten ahead of the text here. <laughs> Rockcliffe has a large research library that we are in developing it also in Avicon Grid. Uh, this one is in active development. Uh, it's going to be huge, um, relatively speaking. The library has four dedicated regions uh, and will be fully accessible through the hypergroup. Uh, 
peer review range of subjects, but specifically, we're um, associating them with education, technology, sciences, and the humanities. So uh, if you haven't checked this out, please go check this out because our, sorry, I'm gonna devolve from the, from the little prepared statements here. Um, our librarian, Mel Kropinski, has done a phenomenal job in terms of collecting these open source re uh, research materials, databases, all kinds of material that's there. Um, there's just any, anything, any subject that you wanna go and do research based on peer review, open source information, we got it. So go check it out if you could. Um, so coming back to the prepared statements, Rockcliffe will be running various programs in both locations to focus on research and digital literacy. Uh, we're also currently exploring other opportunities with other library systems uh, that we're hoping um, will, will come on stream over the summer. Uh, these will be for collaborative projects uh, to augment the substantive resources that we uh, currently have available right now. Um, Rockcliffe is also putting together a wide assortment of virtual sandboxes available for our members. Uh, some of these are open access and available to anyone to conduct a class, to play, or to experiment. Uh, for example, Rockcliffe is one of the few locations in Second Life that still has a four-region theater, you know, classroom, you know, open space, right? Um, we have a full region sandbox. And we are one of the few areas that have the ability to give people an opportunity to learn how to terraform inside this environment as part of our sandbox. Uh, in Open Simulator, uh, Rockcliffe is gonna be focused more on research and development, including options for collaboratively prototyping solutions to real world problems. As a precursor to publication, creating patents, developing and developing real world builds. The advantage of developing these types of innovations inside a virtual environment is that it drastically reduces the cost of development and allows for engineering and technical problems to be identified and resolved long before a physical plant or a physical build is actually created. Um, other sandboxes uh, are dedicated to curriculum development using gamification. For example, we have a presence in EVE Online and World of Warcraft. Uh, Rockcliffe maintained guilds in both environments for the purposes of social engagement, having fun, obviously, and for testing out new ideas and how gaming can be used effectively in the classroom. Uh, for either EVE Online or World of Warcraft, uh, you can sign up in World in both locations and become guild members if you would like. There's no requirement to be a Rockcliffe member to, to do that. Um, for new virtual environments such as High Fidelity, Sansar, uh, and others, uh, we're actively exploring these as part of our collection of sandboxes to be made available to uh, members as we go along. Uh, another member only perk, Rockcliffe is providing access to a large number of supporting services, tools, utilities, and streaming options. While some services like Join Me for desktop sharing are free and open to people for use uh, without our help, um, some of the more professional services that require licensing uh, Rockcliffe is going to be there to help provide access to these tools with the intention of lowering the overall cost to our members through shared usage. This includes things like learning management systems, content management systems, desktop streaming, live streaming, and other tools where the free options do not necessarily provide uh, instructors, individuals, other institutions with enough range for their effective use. Uh, one of our uh, other core lessons learned is that Rockcliffe uh, has incorporated into our products and services is the fact that learning within a limited virtual environment when is it? <laughs> Sorry, I messed it up. One of the other core lessons learned, right, is that learning within a limited virtual space is more effective when the when the experience is shared. Right, so Rockcliffe therefore provides to its members a wide range of options to extend a virtual shared experience to other people to use, learn, and enjoy uh, from things such as the Journal of Virtual Studies, uh, which is our, our own open source peer review publication, uh, allowing authors to publish new research in the areas of uh, education, technology, and learning. But we also have things like uh, Rockcliffe TV, which provides an opportunity for us to consolidate resources, video, and other visual materials under a single uh, brand, a single opportunity to, to market as a collection. 
This provides opportunity for Rockcliffe members to be able to share video experiences and to promote ongoing opportunities for collaboration using services such as YouTube, Vimeo, Livestream, Twitch, uh, and others. In addition, Rockcliffe uh, Radio is a new service that's coming online later this year, providing access to podcasts and other materials, which is mainly based in an audio-only format. Um, so this is the last slide that I've got here. I mean, this is just a small sampling of the things that we've planned for over the next few years. Uh, there are certainly more things to come, and we would certainly like you to be part of the experience. You know, if you'd like to become a, a social member of Rockcliffe and receive a copy of the Rockcliffe Chronicler, then, you know, please check out our website at uh, RUC today. Um, you know, charter membership in Rockcliffe, which is how we're hoping to be able to eventually afford all of this stuff long term, uh, that's going to be starting up uh, along with the Erudition Conference in October. So that's going to be our big, it's not going to be a big secret, but it's going to be sort of like the big reveal so, sort of at that particular point. So we're hoping to see a lot of people in Old Sacramento for that particular conference. And uh, we're very much looking forward to the experience of conducting a real, you know, a real life slash hybrid type conference, which we've never quite done before, uh, not under Rockcliffe anyways. So again, for more information, just uh, check out our, um, our uh, we have a marketing website, which has got a lot of our social media feeds at ruc.today, uh, or obviously the main website at uh, urockcliff.com. And I hopefully have just nailed 10 minutes right on the button, I hope. <laughs> so.